Hello ladies and gentlemen and today I am doing a review of a fantastic video game. The Sims 3 Supernatural released yesterday September 4th for PC in the United States of America and you know what I'm really impressed with this video game. If you're a Sims 3 fan you should pick this game up. A lot of questions that have come across many uh, Sims 3 players and fans of electronic arts were you know, there's a lot of us that don't like having supernaturals in our game. It'll just make the game weird. I want to have a game where you can have normal life. Well, in previous Sims games, that might have been an issue. But with The Sims 3 Supernatural, EA has mastered that problem. You get the option to select uh, in the options to have certain beings in the game. You can make it to where there are no supernaturals. Um, another neat thing they added to the game... Uh, was the uh, moon dial. Uh, during a full moon, your werewolves will instantly transform into the werewolves, and uh, also zombies will come up from underground and uh, bug the crap out of your Sims players and um, attack your garden, raid your garden, all kinds of irritating things such as that. But that is also an optional thing, which is great. I like it. It's kind of a neat thing. You know, I found out you can put a fence around your garden, and you don't have to worry about them um, raiding your garden. They'll leave it alone. But uh, it is a neat feature still to have zombies in the game. But if it gets a little, little too irritating for you people, and you don't want to have uh, out of the normal game, you can just shut all those options off. So while we're waiting for it to load, which will be done here shortly, you got all kinds of different supernaturals. You got fairies, werewolves, witches, and uh, that classifies both male and female. There are no wizards. They're a, a witch. That's the only choice for magic. And um, vampires are updated in the game. I haven't had the chance to play, but I have been doing a lot of reading about it. And then, of course, zombies, which I don't know if you can play as them or not, but you cannot create them and create a sim mode. It is just, uh, your. Um, let me see here, the witches actually can uh, create zombies, but... Otherwise, they just come up out of the ground during the night. Here you can see is the new town, Moonlight Falls. And it is a really awesome town. If you want to have more of a normal game, you're obviously not going to want this to be in your town. Just go to another town. But it's still a great town, even if, you know, it still would be uh, semi-normal. They have new buildings such as the Alchemy Place and everything like that. But I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the uh, uh, features and create a sim mode. Um, all kinds of new features. It's, it, I mean, it's... It's like they doubled the options in the game. So, uh, waiting for it to load here. I was just going to go it's ahead also. and move in uh, an already created family so I can show you some of the items. But I want to go ahead and show you real quick here. Um, here in the supernatural type, you get to click uh, what type of person. Human, werewolf, fairy, a witch. Uh, there's even a genie. I forgot to mention that. A ghost. You can do a ghost. And from a ghost, you can actually decide how they died, which I'll go ahead and show you right now. <laughs> and it takes a few minutes, and my graphic card is, um, isn't the absolute best. It's pretty good, but still. You can go in here and pick their death types. And you got quite a few to pick from here. Jelly bean death, I didn't notice that earlier. All kinds of different things. But, um, yeah. I'll let you decide if you want to you know, you can look at these whenever you want to play it, and if you get it, which I highly recommend it. I bought the limited edition. It was only $40, and I got a lot of um, extra content. So I'm just going to pick uh, human, because I'm not going to show you what they all do. There's so many things they can do, and uh, I've only really messed around with the fairies and the wizards, because the wizard, I, I like magic, and uh, the fairies, they, are, they have um, some uh, minor magical abilities, and they're really good gardeners. But um, for now, I'm just going to leave it a human, and I'm not even going to uh, go into detail here. I'm just going to pick up random crap, because I just want to move him in, and I want to show you some of the new items that are in included. That's weird. Shut up now. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, I want to show you some of the neat um, uh, items that are included in the game. Before I do that, though, let me go ahead and see. I think, um, there, I think there is new food. Yeah, potato and truffle torte, I think. Okay, I might be wrong on that. I'm not entirely sure. There might be new food. I didn't really check into that. But there is new music, the dark wave, and uh, stuff like that. Let me go ahead and go in here and show you. I might as well, while I'm in here. There are different um, traits that are added, like uh, brooding. 
uh, brooding sims can't help themselves from contemplating the riddles, mysteries, and meanings of life. They could actually sit there and brood by themselves to increase their social. Let's see here some of the newer ones. Oh, going down. If I miss it, I'm sorry. A gatherer. They're really good at uh, gathering things. And let's see. Natural born performer, which uh, that might have already been there. Night owl. That's a new one. All kinds of new things. So, um,. Yeah, you just kind of have to pick those out on your own and customize things as we you go know. along. And I better name him. Okay, name me. Uh, apparently, I can't name him that. Wait, no, I have to pick a lifetime wish. There we go. There we go. I don't really care. Uh, yeah, like I, I said, those? probably shouldn't even create this guy. I'm just going to show you the items. We'll just move in into this lot here. I'm going to use the cheat mode so I can uh, get a whole bunch of money. And I'll show you some of the things that are included in the video game. Um, like I said, I got the limited edition. Not because um, I wanted the awesome pea shooter that comes with it. The normal edition does not include a pea shooter. And if you want to deal with zombies, the pea shooter is supposed to uh, protect you from it. But um, I, I always get limited edition if they offer it. Because I like to collect the games and I want you know the better ones. So... All right, we'll go into buy mode here. And I'm going to sort this out to where it's only um, game, uh, stuff from the Supernatural pack. Even though sometimes I don't think it shows at all because I had a hard time finding the pea shooter. I finally found it, but I don't remember. Okay, in the sinks, here's a new sink, which must be against a wall. So let me go ahead and place a fairly large, long wall here. Back to buy mode. And it didn't keep that. Supernatural. Here's one of the new sinks. Obviously all customizable. Because it's always been like that. Where you can change the colors of things in The Sims 3. Uh, bathtub. Really not a whole lot. <laughs> and plumbing. Uh, appliances. You got a new. It's called the old looking new fridge. So I guess it's a new fridge. that's just supposed to look old. The small appliances. You got a classic microwave. I'll just kind of bring it up there and you can see that uh, by the book food processor and the old steamy which is obviously um, espresso maker and then nothing in miscellaneous new surfaces no new counters cabinets you got three new dining tables you got that which yeah I didn't think you put those together and here's this one and here's this one let me go ahead and type in the mother load cheat give me a little more money I'll type it twice uh, end tables. You got a lot, a lot of neat looking, natural, witchy looking tables here. Oh, that's an end table. That's kind of neat. Alright, coffee tables. You got all kinds of, uh, all kinds. Four new coffee tables. I don't really think I need to be showing you all this. Let me get some more important stuff. You got four new types of displays. Uh, Dorable shelf. The, Al or the Alistair's Alchemy display case, or cabinet's what it's called, but you can put all your uh, alchemy uh, stuff in there. A bug display case. If you're an alchemist and you want to make all kinds of alchemy, you're going to, you you know, bugs. You're going to need bugs for some of those uh, ingredients. And then another uh, antique uh, Alistair set. Okay, you got all kinds of new beds here. Here's this one. Really neat looking, very expensive. All the beds in um, this pack are expensive. That's the cheapest one. It's $980. And then there's the double version of it. And then you also have a double bed they included. This one's kind of neat. Very uh, kind of out in the woods looking type thing. Something a witch might want to sleep in. Three new chairs. Dining chairs, I mean. And several new uh, living chairs here. The relaxer rocker. I have not tested it. Apparently, I think you can actually rock in it. I'm not sure. I haven't tried you got several more sofas, one new lounge chair, here's the lounge chair. Uh, miscellaneous, They're the fairy bungalow, that's what I want to show you. If you have a fairy sim, they can actually go in there and live inside of it. Well, not live, but you know, that's kind of like their bed. They can sleep in it, they can drink from it, they can actually talk in it to themselves, I think, somehow. But they actually shrink down and they can go inside it. Alright, moving on to electronics, no TVs, no computers, two new audios. you got the... Uh, this thing and that one two very old looking uh, uh, radios 
And in miscellaneous, you have a new a clock. Here's that. Uh, the Simplicity Wall Clock, which you have to hang it up, obviously. Smack a gnome. The Claw, classic. And the Granddaddy Clock, which I believe it came from The Sims 1. It doesn't look exactly like it, but that's the Granddaddy Clock. And that would be all in electronics. Uh, no new sporting goods. Hobbies. There are a lot of new items items for hobbies. You got the very small train set, which obviously is not very small. There you can see a little town with the train set. Uh, the Mr. Stingley's beekeeping box. You use that for many different ingredients that you'll need uh, that, with bees. Then you got your different kind of wands. Magic classic. If you're a wizard, <clears throat> excuse me, you come with a wand already, but it's a crappy one. They get more expensive, and the more expensive they are, the better they are. Antique chess set, kind of a neat looking chess table. And then you got more types of wands going up in price. Uh, here's the, Al or the Alistair's Alchemy Station. This is where you're going to make all the different potions that are really awesome. And I've, I've done a little bit of mess messing around with it. Here's a crystal wand. The elegant wand is the best. Nine hunt well, no, between the crystal wand and the elegant wand, those are the two best ones. Here is the elegant wand, it's kind of yellow with red on the end of it, and then the crystal wand, which is really neat. Uh, you got the Zoom, uh, what is it called again? The Zooms Weeper Broom Arena. Apparently, you're gonna kind of have like a little witch zoom broom, and then the cut it yourself. Um, gem machine instead of sending it off to get your gems cut you can have it done there and I was wrong those two are not the best ones this one's the best one the magic wand iridescent iridescent I ain't good with uh, spelling pronouncing words so but anyway it's a little over a thousand lighting you had all kinds of new lights available I won't go through each and every one of those decorations somewhere in here is probably the pea shooter and I probably should look for it because it is a neat item and I want to show you I don't think I can actually find it in here. It's probably not even in here. But I will find it before the end of this video. Here's a new uh, bookcase. Really neat looking bookcase. Many new dressers. Nothing in miscellaneous. Kids. There are new toys. A bunch of new toys. you got all kinds of different bears. You get a rocking horse. Very small train sets included in this. A toy box. And the Victorian Beaky Dollhouse. And one new vehicle. The Sylvan, or Sylvan Motor Carriage, very neat looking. Uh, no bicycles. Miscellaneous, you have the Magic Broom Stand. You have a Zoom Sweeper Junior, so apparently you can actually pick out brooms, even though they are they, they actually go around on brooms, even if you don't buy them one, it's funny. I think this is funny, it looks just like the box from Doctor Who, even though, well, not really, but uh, it looks kind of like the box from Doctor Who, and it allows you to travel around throughout the town. Uh, pet, uh, pet Essentials. There is nothing included for pets. Stage props, there is nothing included for stage props. So that's pretty much everything in the buy it mode. Let me real quickly, I can't remember where I found it, but somewhere in here is the pea shooter. Maybe it's under hobbies and skills. It is very useful if you actually want to try to tough it out and have zombies come around. And I think it's actually under outdoors somewhere. I don't remember. Lawn ornaments, no. Outdoor activities. Well, now that I think about it, I have to have the filter content turned off because it's not actually in the pack. It's a downloadable content. So meaning it's not actually in the pack because you actually download it, but you get the code if you buy a limited edition. So I'll shut that off. That's probably why I couldn't find it before. There's the pea shooter. This is the wonderful little pea shooter that will keep your zombies away. Put it over near your garden and boom, boom, boom. I've never seen it in action because really this is the first time I ever placed it because it's the second time I've ever found it. So, um, uh, there are like maybe three, four items that are included in the limited edition. That's one of them. I don't really know where the rest of them are because they can be anything within the categories. So I'm not really going to look for them. I don't think there was a whole lot added into the uh, build it mode. Now don't take my word for that because there's probably plenty of new things. Probably plenty of new wall coverings. I just, I'm just i not going to go through all those. Uh, windows. There's probably new windows. I would not doubt it. Let me go ahead and... I can just probably... T I'll tell you right now. Windows. Yeah, there's new windows. So I'll you can uh, kind of experiment that with yourself. The new thing that's really neat is the uh, sliding bookcase door. So that could be something fun. Um... Yeah, and the fountains, even though that was added in previous packs, I haven't really messed with that at all. It's really neat. Um, but anyway, let me uh, back out of this. I'll go ahead and show you real quickly the options. 
you go down here advanced demographic options if you do not want your uh, world to be filled with supernaturals you can actually click and uncheck all this stuff so they're not included in your game apparently let's see witches uh, it's funny let me uncheck it uh, it probably just gets rid of the witches within the world because obviously my character is a witch well, wait a minute, no, my character isn't a witch, my character is a human, but the character I'm playing, you know, in my private game is a witch, and his wife is a fairy, and yes, that's an odd combo. It's kind of funny, because I wanted uh, her to be the fairy, so she can do all the gardening for him, for all the supplies he needs, because he, you know, he's a, he's a witch and an alchemist. Uh, and then also, you got the environment options. Here's your rotating lunar cycle. Every new moon is when the werewolves automatically turn into werewolves at, you know, against their will I think and then um, the zombies come out well if you do not want that to happen through a lunar cycle set it to a single lunar phase and it's not a new moon excuse me a full moon is whenever all that happens just set it to something other than that and then it'll never go to a full moon and it'll never happen uh, just be warned though if you set it to a new moon that obviously means no moon and uh, if you have fairies it gives them like a negative five to their um, uh, their their characteristics are not characteristics but you know how their mood is negative five because they like the moon to be out because they're fairies i guess that's just how that is but i probably will leave the lunar cycle on because now that i found the pea shooter i'm going to be happy with that even though my garden i can put a fence around it and everything's just fine but um yeah i think i pretty much covered everything uh there's a lot of different things that were added you know i know i just went through the buy it mode and here's a bunch of trees that were added to the the pack by themselves there's all kinds of things you're just you really need to get this for a forty dollar game it is not bad it's not bad at all i actually was surprised because i believe a lot of the previous expansion packs they were like fifty dollars this is limited edition i got it for forty i think it's worth it it's definitely worth it if you want to have a world full of supernatural or you want to have a world just a normal game like always and you just want all this neat stuff to go with it buy the game before we go, I want to see if he can rock in the chair. And he can. Let's see. Let's watch him do it. Oh, look at that. That's funny. Not him in the rocking chair. I'm looking at the pea shooter. Play catch. You can play catch with it and attack it. I don't know if you should attack it. But I'm going to probably go ahead and have him do it just for the heck of it. Attack pea shooter. Let's go ahead and see him do it. Get out of your rocking chair. Oh! He turned into a zombie. Well, he didn't turn into it. He was acting like it. Don't attack the pea shooter. <laughs> All right. Let's have him play the claw real quick. I haven't seen him do that. Oh, he didn't win anything. Dang it. <laughs> oh, and the arena. Probably needs a broom for that. Let's play the train set. Oh, you don't play it. You, it just turns on. All right. Let's uh, smoke the bees. See how badly that turns out. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this. I hope this influences you to buy the game. It's a great game. Uh, like I said, 5 out of 5. Great game. Um, don't forget to check out my channel. I'm doing Let's Plays of all kinds of different games, and I probably plan to make this one of them. So, once again, thank you for watching.